Hey guys, welcome to this video, my name's Atimster. Today I'm going to be giving away this free interactive door. Now, a couple of tutorials ago, I did a tutorial which showed you how to open up doors just with logic bricks, and once the door opened, it would stay open forever. Like, all the sensors and stuff would get deleted. So right here, I have a model which can be opened and closed as many times as you want to. So, for example here, I can walk up to the door, press a uh, button, as the prompt says, then animation will play, it will open. If I go to this side, I can then close it, and it will close, and then I can, from any side, uh, just open it again. I've also gone and reduced the logic bricks by just using one Python controller, which was also in the last tutorial, which showing you how to use Python to activate actuators and stuff. So I just wanted to give this away to you guys because as mentioned by someone it sort of wasn't that great just having a door that can open up once when all the other really cool video games have doors which you can sort of open and close all at once. And I didn't really want to repeat myself again just by going over the same thing. So if you're keen on getting yourself a copy of this, go down in the description and there'll be a link. So I'm going to be showing you how to get this into your own games. So I'm going to open up a another window of Blender, then I'm going to make my scene here, so delete the cube, add a plane, just something like this and uh, GeoSL, doesn't really matter. Add my player, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna get my FPS template. So this will also be in the description if you guys need an FPS template. Um, yeah, it just saves a lot of time. So it's already done for you. I'm gonna delete that. Then I'm gonna move that back a bit. And if I press numpad zero and press P and we select the floor and turn off back facing then it should work there we go we can look around and move around so now I'm happy with that I just want to have my door so I'm gonna move this back a bit and I'm gonna press shift F1 so I'm gonna go into the file uh, for the door and you don't need the camera but you need everything else I think you won't need feet and head though and click link and append and the, that will add it to your file and it will be under the floor so we can press GZ or GZ and move it up and you want the sensors to be sort of semi in the ground and you can also check where the door is if you press numpad 1, numpad 5 and then Z to go into wireframe and you want to get the bottom of the door sort of even with the floor so to get this to work you still have to give your player a property so you go up into your game logic and with your player selected, you give it a property just called player. Make sure you sort of spell that right. And yeah, you can just leave the rest. It should be fine. Uh, now the next thing we need to do is select our sensor here. It's trying to call for the script collide and then the function main. Now we don't have a script here, so if I actually was to try it out right now, I walk up to here, all the sort of signs are visible. If I press any buttons, nothing happens. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to have my door giveaway file open. I'm going to have to select the script, all that highlighted all, then press Control C to copy. Then I'm going to go back to my file I wanted in. Then I'm going to click New and uh, paste. It. So Control V to paste and add all that in. Now another thing which is really important down here is that you type collide properly so the same as down here and then dot py so you have to have dot py because it's a module and it just yeah likes you to have dot py so we'll put that in we'll try it out and you see all the text and stuff disappeared if we now walk up to the door we can open it works fine and we can go on this side and we can close it one more thing to be uh, wary about is for animation sake, so say you have lots and lots of walls around the place and you'll need doors at different orientations. First of all, what you do is select everything here, then uh, you press Shift D to duplicate, and once you've got that script and that's fine, it should be working by itself. But say if I was to press R90 and uh, now I was to play, then if I walk up to this door now and I press E, 
the animation's almost flipped itself and gone backwards. So to fix that, when you are sort of duplicating and rotating them around, is you want to make it sort of flat with the wall. So what you have to do is drag up a timeline here and go to frame zero. You can sort of see the it's sort of flipped on open and looks strange. So making sure you're on frame zero, you can press R to rotate and you want to even it out with the walls. So it's sort of closed like this. And then you can click and then we'll press an I, insert rotation. And we'll go along here all the way to frame 60 and then press R again to rotate and you want it sort of open like this. So something like that and then I insert rotation again. Now what that will do is it will sort of redo the animation and now if we press play and go to frame zero um, you can have this door at this angle and you can open it and then same with this one and they won't sort of open backwards. So hopefully that isn't a too big of an obstacle for you guys. Anyway the link in the description for this sort of door file that's how to put it into your own games and paste it in. So I hope you guys will enjoy the giveaway. Again, link in the description if you want it. Feel free to like and share, or anything like that. It's greatly appreciated. But until then, stay tuned for next week's tutorial.